name's Jessica. I'm a fitness instructor at the MJCC, and this is my daughter, Miriam. We're here today to show you some parent-child exercises in our workout called Have a Ball. But you don't have to be a parent. And you don't have to be a child. All you need is a partner and a ball. We're going to use a fitness ball like this, but if you don't have one, what else can you use? You can use a beach ball, a playground ball, or a very deflated soccer ball. That would definitely work too. All right, well, let's start with a little warm up. Then we'll get into our partner exercises and end with a little stretch. You can also put on some music if that helps you get your body moving. All right, let's start with a little bit of a march in place. Good, we always wanna have good posture, right? Keep that belly button drawn in, crown of your head reaching up. Let's get these arms warmed up. Let's bring them out to the side and make little circles going forward. Go ahead. And backwards. Yes. Let's reach up tall. Opposite hand goes up as the opposite knee comes up towards your hip. Like you're climbing up a ladder and picking apples from a tree. Exactly. Good, you can go at your own pace. Now, have you ever seen Frankenstein walks? Yeah. That's where you bring your toes up towards the ceiling, legs are straight, reach those hands towards your toes. And if you can't get your hands to your toes, or you can't really reach and you need to bend your knees a little, it's totally fine. Yeah, you just wanna feel a nice little stretch in the back of your legs here. Should we start really getting our heart rate up? Let's do it. All right, jumping jacks. Now you can go at your own pace here. You can go really fast or real slow or medium. Yeah, you can even do one leg at a time. <laughs> even turn this into a starfish jack. First we turn ourselves into a cannonball and then jump up like a star. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Cannonball, starfish. Really scrunch those arms and legs in and then open those arms and legs up to the side. Let's do one more. Nice job. Should we really warm up the fronts of our legs now? Yeah. All right, bring those heels up towards your bottom and do some butt kickers. Butt kickers. You feel warm? Yeah. Me too, I think I'm ready to work out. Let's do it. All right, your first exercise. You're gonna first start by facing one direction side by side, one partner's then gonna turn around. So you're shoulder to shoulder. Then step apart a little bit away, it's about a foot or so. You're gonna want your feet hip width apart. We're gonna do a squat and a twist. Each person's gonna push their hips back like they're gonna go sit down. Then as you stand up, clap your partner's hand and twist. Squat, clap, twist. Squat, clap, twist. Squat, clap, twist. That's right, push those hips back like you're gonna have a seat. Stand up and rotate. See if you can really pop up high here. Nice. Push your hips back, clap, and twist. Down, up, clap, twist. One more, down, up, clap and twist, <laughs> nice job. All right, this time you're gonna face each other. Then you're gonna take a big step back. Good, you're gonna come over to the left. Nice, so now you should be about five or six <coughs> feet apart and several feet with uh, side by side. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a front lunge 
and really get our shoulder involved here. You're gonna get a big arm circle, big arm circle. Good, that inside arm is making a big circle. Then you're gonna step forward with that inside leg into a big lunge. Come down into a lunge, make a, that circle and <laughs> clap. We may need to get a little closer here. Clap, good. So you're gonna put that arm up, lunge forward and clap. In, out, sit, clap. In, out, circle, clap. Good, you In, need to be pretty controlled with this movement. Keep that front knee behind your toes. Keep the trunk lifted here. Good. And when you've done a set on one side, each person's gonna take a big step over to the other direction. Step forward with that inside leg. Arm is gonna come around and clap in the center. Out and clap. Nice. In, out, circle, clap. In, out, circle, clap. <laughs> Last one, good job. Now we're gonna to wanna to face each other. Staying fairly far apart, you're gonna to wanna to come down into a push-up position, arms length each away to the center. That's how you'll know you're about the right length apart. Then you're gonna come into your push-ups with your hands right underneath your shoulders. You can be on your knees or your toes. That's right. You're gonna come into your good push-up, push up and clap in the center. Good, keep that core tight here as you clap <laughs> opposite hands, there you go. Down, alternating sides. Left hand, down, up, right hand, down, up, left hand, down, up, right hand, good. Let's go ahead and grab our balls. We'll show you some really fun exercises. Why don't we use our fitness ball today? So if you have another ball and you don't have a fitness ball, like a beach ball or a playground ball, you can use that. But if you have more than one, you can definitely put it aside. <laughs> exactly. All right. So this first exercise, we're going to face each other. I'm going to take a big step back. We're going to continue with our squats, this time adding a press pass. So you're going to have that good posture, feet are hip width apart. Keep that chest lifted, push your hips back like you're gonna have a seat in the chair, then come back up and pass the ball. Come down. Squat, up, pass. Squat, up, pass. Good. Squat, up, pass. Squat, up, pass. Down, up, pass. Nice job, one more. Now we can change this up a little bit by squatting down, pass the ball, then come up. Squat and down, pass the ball, and then come up. Pass, good, and up. Gotta feel pretty stable here. Good, let's do that one more time. Down, and pass, good. All right, this time you're gonna face away from each other, coming back to back. Good, keep that trunk lifted, feet hip width apart here, you're gonna rotate to the side and pass the ball. It's good to start out a little slow, but if you want to, you can start out as fast as you like. You can either get slower or faster, depending on how you like your pace. Exactly. We're gonna get, we're, we started slow, and we're gonna get faster and faster. <laughs> and then when you're ready, go ahead and go in the other direction. Passing the ball side to side, getting a good trunk rotation here, keeping your belly button in, abs are engaged. Rotate side to side, passing your ball with control. Good, last one. Nice, all right. This time you're gonna take a step away from each other and widen your legs so that they're hip width apart, uh, excuse me, wider than hip width apart. You're gonna do a pass over and under. When you pass over, you wanna really reach up and then hinge from the hips, pass the ball underneath your legs, come back up. You can start out slow or start out fast, depending on how you like your pace. Good. 
then. It's okay if that ball gets away from you. Just go back and get it. <laughs> and when you've gone in one direction, go in the other direction, passing under and over. You can always pause the video if you want to do more on one side. Good. Last one. Nice. Roll out those shoulders. Good work. This time we're going to continue passing the ball forwards to each other, but we're going to do a side lunge. So each person is going to want to take a big step to the left. Good. Now you're going to lunge with that right leg or the leg that's on the inside of your passing uh, lines here. You're going to step over to the side, keep those toes pointing straight ahead, bending that knee, pass the ball to your partner, then push through that inside leg and stand up tall. Good. Step over, out, pass, in, out, pass, in, out, pass, in. Good. Keep driving through that heel to stand up tall, keep your trunk lifted, toes pointing in, smile at each other. Nice. Let's do that one more time on this side. Good, now you'll want to take a big step over to the right. Good, stepping with your inside leg, bending that knee, toes pointing in, pass the ball and push through the heel and come back to stand. Step to the side and press through the heel. Good, toes should be facing each other here. Good, and together, out, pass, Good. <laughs> nice job. All right. We're going to do one more exercise together. We're going to have a seat on the floor and do push ups. So you want to be toe to toe or toes on top of toes, whatever's comfortable for you. You're going to come back into your sit up with your arms overhead, coming up, keep those abs engaged, and pass the ball. Down, up, and pass. Down. Really use your abdominal muscles to pull your trunk up. Nice. Down, up, pass. Down, up, pass. Down, up, pass. One more. Nice job. All right. Now some fun partner stretches. I'm going to bring our feet together and then Nice straddle sit here so those legs can be wide apart. And then grab your partner's hands right there in the front middle. You want your toes to be touching. Yeah. As you do your straddle stretch. You should feel a nice stretch in the back of those legs, through the shoulders and the upper back here. You can even do a little seesaw, gently rocking forwards and back. Just be gentle on your partner. You might want to think of yourself like a boat rocking on the ocean and inside your legs are the people yes exactly now let's get a good trunk rotation you're going to grab same hand so right hand to right hand and then twist and open up the chest here reaching back with the other hand take a deep breath in and as you exhale go ahead and switch hands in the middle it's good if you feel like you're not as good as balancing, so you have your partner to help you balance. This is true. Nice. All right, and then come back facing center. Go ahead and walk your feet in. Bring yourself over. We're going to do a double downward dog there yet to try this. You're going to come into a downward dog, heel to heel. Really get that long line through your Hi. legs. <laughs> Hi. Good. When you feel like you've had a good stretch, walk those hands up. Still back to back. We're going to give each other a little backwards hug. Grabbing hands, reaching over. I'm going to give you a big hug, stretching out the chest, opening up the shoulders in the front of our body. We're Take it in. Yep. And exhale. Then give me a big hug. Oh, thank you. Breathe in and exhale. 
Nice. Let's go ahead and stretch out the fronts of our legs, our quadriceps. I'm gonna go ahead and help you with balance first. You wanna bring that knee up, but you still want it to be facing to the ground. Yes, that's right. So the heel is coming up towards your bottom. Your knee is pointing towards the floor. Try to keep your legs very close together as you're doing the stretch. That's right. That's what helps focus that stretch for those quadriceps. All right, my turn. I'm gonna bring my leg up. Heel. Keep holding on to your partner. <laughs> Thank you. And then when you're ready, switch sides. <laughs> Go ahead and stretch out your side first. <laughs> Everything's more fun with a buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And then when you're ready to switch sides, switch sides. It's okay if you can't get it at first. You still have your partner holding you. Mm -hmm. You can always carefully change where, you, where your hand is. You can take it off for a few seconds, but then quickly put it back on. Not too hard. Yes. All right. Well, why don't we finish with a nice big stretch, giving ourselves a high five on one side and on the other side. High five. Good. And I think we should end with my signature stretch. Let's open up our arms out to the side, breathing in lots of oxygen into your lungs. And exhaling. And as you exhale, give yourself a great big squeeze. That's a hug from us to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Please stay in good health.